next video, we're going to be working on a 2008 Chevy Malibu. And we're going to be changing the steering column, which is a similar procedure for changing the torque sensor. Um, here's the NAPA part number for the steering column that we'll be replacing. Inside the car, we're going to remove this plastic trim panel. Two 7mm bolts. We'll get us started on that. And then over here on the side, there's two more. It has clips that just pull out. I'm just gonna get some of these wires out of our way. Pull this clip out of here so we can remove the panel. And then we're gonna have three bolts under here to take out. Gotcha. Then get a flat blade screwdriver and just pry these two panels apart on both sides. And then we'll tilt the wheel down. And you can take that off. It's still connected here with the boot. And then the bottom one will just come out through here put that aside. Now at this point, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your steering wheel is straight. And it's very important that it stays in that straight position. So you don't do damage to the system, especially the air brake, airbag clock spring, which can be damaged if the steering wheel is turned while we take this part out of here. So make sure your steering wheel is straight and do your best to keep it remaining as straight as you can. It can handle small wiggles like this, but we don't want it spinning a full rotation. So we're gonna go up under the dash here. And on the steering intermediate shaft, there's an 11 millimeter bolt right here that we're gonna take off. And that's gonna separate these two pieces. It's pretty tight, so you might need more than just your electric driver. I'm gonna use an impact wrench. So after you get that bolt out, you're gonna slide the two shafts apart. And this shaft is actually sliding into itself right there. Just enough to get it out. At this point, if you haven't disconnected your battery cable, now is a good time to do so. So we're going to remove this airbag horn button here. And there's two buttons on the side. And what you're going to want to do is take a flat blade screwdriver, push it in there a little bit inward, like towards you and then it's gonna release a clip. Once I get this apart, I will show you those clips a little bit better so you can understand what you're depressing. Again, there's one on this side as well. And this is where you'll disconnect the airbag. I'm gonna grab some needle nose pliers and pinch both of those at the same time, and they should unplug. Now, I told you how to explain better how this airbag is being released. So, when you put your screwdriver in that little hole on the side over here, you're aiming for this pin and you're pressing it in like that as you pull the airbag out and that will disengage the pin from this little slot right here. And there's one on both sides. 
but it's the same concept. So now we're going to take off the steering wheel and this nut holds it on. Make sure that your dot is lined up with the arrow right there. If not, you'll need to mark it in some sort of a fashion, but that shows you where to line it back up when you put it back together. Now this steering wheel is pressed onto the shaft here. I have a trick for getting them off without a puller. I put the nut on just a couple of threads just to catch it. And then I'm gonna be pulling with my knees towards me and towards me with my extra hand on the top. So I'm pulling on top and bottom at the same time. And then I take an air hammer and I just give it a couple rat-a-tats and it will come right off of there. If you don't have an air hammer, you can try to work this thing off of here by pulling top to bottom, left to right, or rent a puller to get it off there. But it needs to come off the press shaft is the end goal here. That's all it took, and it's off. Okay, so now to remove this entire assembly here, there's a clip here you're gonna pry up on, and one here. And you're gonna kinda work it off, just by pulling it left and right, left and right, after you've got those clips released. And again, don't let this rotate. Keep it in roughly the same position. That's your airbag clock spring right there. And it will just slide off that shaft. And that can just stay put. Now there's two bolts here, I do believe they're 13 millimeter, that we're gonna take off next. Don't take your last bolt all the way out. Let it hang there for a minute. We need to take off the external Torx bolts right here that attach the steering column to the control module. There's one here and one here on the back side. And then the Torx sensor connector is the rear connector right here. It's this gray wire that goes up here over the module and it does have a clip holding it on up there. So you're gonna have to fight that clip to get it off. But yeah, disconnect it here. And then we're gonna take off these two external torques. E8, E8 is the size. And while I'm taking these two E8s out of here, I just wanna ask if you'd subscribe to my channel. It helps me produce more content and if this video was useful to you, give it a like. I appreciate it. And here's the back one. And I just got that last bolt out and the two are separated now. I'm just gonna see if I can just let this module kind of hang out over here. There's what the other end of it looks like. And there's that retainer clip I told you it would be hard to get out. Okay, I've got the motor and module just hanging over here. Supported by the brake pedal. And we're going to try to uh, take this column out now. Loosen that last bolt out all the way. Nope, we're still we're still bound up here. So I missed the uh, through bolt here. This is the new unit looking at. There's a bolt that goes all the way through there that I forgot about. That we're gonna take out. I 
There's the nut side and then the bolt side. All right. So I've taken the bolt out now and it's slid out almost all the way now. I'm just going to finish it off here. Okay, there's that long through bolt. And we should be free now. Okay, units out, units on the floor. We've got a new one here to install. Back in the car is that power steering assist motor if you wanted to see that and the control module attached to it as a unit. But I've just got that sitting on the floor right now waiting to bolt up to my new unit. Here is the unit, it's actually a remanufactured unit but it contains the new torque sensor which is usually to blame on this whole assembly here. So if you were gonna change the torque sensor out, now would be the time to take off this giant circlip here, and the torque sensor is under this. So we're just going to reinstall in the reverse order. We're gonna put our motor on here, and then when this is all said and done, um, they do require that you do a relearn of it. So if you don't have a scan tool to do a relearn, I don't know if you can get by doing this job without. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. And if this video was any good for you, give it a like.